So what would you do if you were stranded in the wilderness and you did not have these five items? Stick around, we're gonna talk about them, tell you why you need them, and the importance of having them. Hey everybody, and welcome to Mountain Survival. My name's Clinton Moore. Join along with me as we learn new skills, survival, bushcraft, camping, and everything in the outdoors. Me and my dog Coda are always into something new and learning some kind of new skill. I'm glad to have you guys here and I hope you enjoy. All right guys, welcome back to Mountain Survival. I'm Clinton Moore. Today I'm gonna to share a little bit of knowledge with you. Imagine you go on a hike out in the wilderness, just a day hike, you're not gonna be gone two, three hours. You get out on this hike, you get turned around, it starts to get dark, oh no, I'm lost. What are the five things that can save your life? So in a survival situation, there's crucial items that you need to have with you at all times, no matter what. There is situations where people go out, they're just gonna be going a little bit, something happens, somebody gets hurt, somebody gets lost, somebody gets, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. So most people, pretty much everybody, that gets tossed into a survival situation it most always happens unwillingly. Very few people go out and put themselves in a survival situation on purpose. There is people that does it and that's fine. I've done it, there's lots of people that have done it. But the thing about it is, you go on that survival excursion prepared knowing what you're getting into. When you're just out on a day hike or exploring or just going on an adventure, you're not expecting to be put into survival mode all day or especially overnight. Most people that get lost and, and are put in a survival situation, most of them succumb to the elements. That being hot, cold, something to do with the weather. Mother Nature is brutal. She does not care. She will kill you if you're not prepared. So with that being said, the first item on my list is a way to make fire. This is a ferro rod. This is my number one recommendation for a fire starter. Uh, if you're not familiar with a ferro rod or how to get a fire started with a ferro rod, you can check out my other videos. I have videos on this. If you are not familiar with a ferro rod, there's lots of other ways to get a fire. You've got the good old trusty Bic lighter. You can get these here at Walmart. They're little torches. You just flip them open, push the button. It makes a little flame in the middle there. Um, those work. There's there's lots of ways to make fire. You can get uh, windproof matches, strike anywhere matches. Um, always have a way to make fire. All right. Item number two is another really important thing is water purification, water filtration, some way to get clean drinking water. This is a Sawyer Mini water filtration system. They're pretty cheap, they're like 20 bucks for the whole kit. Get you some kind of water filtration because you cannot live without water. This is just a water filter. You can get iodine, you can get water purification tablets, you can get lots of different things to purify and sterilize your water. Water purification. All right, item number three this year is a first aid kit. If you're out, you're lost, you're stranded, you're in survival mode, most people are gonna be frantic, they're gonna be running around like a crazy person, or they're stranded because they're hurt. First aid kit, this is mine, this goes everywhere with me. It's a little bit big, but I have everything in here from band-aids, duct tape, I have an EpiPen in here, I have lidocaine, I have a suture kit. Pretty much this is basically a trauma pack. If you guys would like a video on everything that I keep in this, leave it down in the comments and I'll go over everything that I have in here. Um, also too, I have Mylar survival blankets. Um, there's everything in here, a little bit of everything. First aid kit, you don't want to get an infection. If you get burned, if you get cut, scraped, your fingers mashed, lots of things, you need a first aid kit. 
this can save your life keep a tourniquet in here but uh, I may make another video and go over exactly what I keep in this but that's item number three first aid kit item number four a multi-tool get you a good dependable reliable multi-tool they have needle nose pliers it has wire cutters this particular one has a bottle opener, a file, a awl, a Phillips screwdriver, flat screwdriver, a wood saw, a can opener. Uh, it actually it has a knife blade in it. Yeah, get you a good multi-tool. You can do a lot with these. I don't go anywhere without mine. This is my daily carry that I keep in my pocket. Get you a multi-tool. It, it's a game changer. And for item number five, now this may not apply to everybody, but in my area where I live, the woods that I frequent, this is a must have, don't go without it, and that is a firearm of some kind, whether it be a little 22 pistol, a shotgun, rifle, 22 rifle, 22 pistol, some type of firearm for your protection out in the wilderness. Now I know that everybody can't carry a firearm depending on what state you live in, what province you live in, things like that. But if you are permitted and licensed and are allowed to legally carry a firearm, I suggest that you get you one and take it with you into the wilderness. This will keep attackers off of you. This will keep bears, mountain lions, uh, lots of different things to protect yourself in case you need it it's better to have it and not need it than to really need it and not have it because if you need this and you don't have it then you're in a pretty dire situation just a little recap a little story here for you i live in an area in eastern kentucky that is about 15 to 20 minutes away from red river gorge geological area lots of cliffs lots of really deep hollers lots of places to get lost and it happens frequently lots of people lots of people get lost here they fall they get hurt they get stranded we have search and rescue teams that have to go get them and unfortunately some of them are unalived when they find them some of them are still alive because they had a couple or if not all of these items that i've mentioned in this video so in closing i just want to tell everybody be prepared regardless of your situation regardless of what you think you know regardless of how many times you've been out into the wilderness always take your essentials with you no matter what you never know when you're going to need them they could save your life that is basically what i'm trying to tell you so a quick recap of what we got here we got a way to make fire, we have water filtration, we have a first aid kit, we have a multi-tool of some kind, and if permitted, a firearm, some type of protection device. I want you guys to leave me a comment down below what your five essential items are that you never go to the woods without. And uh, let me know what, uh, what you think about my top five pick. And if I left anything out or if I need to add anything, I hope you guys learned something from this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all stay safe, and God bless.